Hey guys, so in the last couple weeks, my youth group have been covering how the Bible is reliable. In this video, I'm going to cover six points on how the Bible is truly reliable today. And we're starting right now. Point number one, cohesive unity. Although there are 40 authors of the Bible, in a 1600 year period, they all have the same faith and similar writings. This shows that there is a divine hand behind the writings of the pen. Point number two, internal declaration. The Bible declares to be inspired in 3,000 different places. So the Bible is either what it says it is, or is it a book of flaws and fables. Point number three, fulfilled prophecy. Hundreds of prophecies have been fulfilled. The rise and fall of nations, the history of Israel, even the life of Jesus. Point number four, life-changing power. Millions testify to the life-changing power in their diet, their lifestyle, and giving them strength and hope for their future. Point number five, perennial appeal. For years, the Bible is still the highest source, book, and bestseller in the world. Point number six, universal appeal. The Bible appeals to the young, the old, the rich, the poor, the educated, the uneducated. The Bible has been translated in over 1,000 different languages and is still being printed today. The Bible is God's revelation for humanity. Its prophecies establish credibility and they attest to the Lord's ability to reveal the future events before they happen. Now in the Bible, there are three passages that show the claims in Isaiah chapter 46 verses 9 and 10 says, Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So in this passage, God is declaring himself as the one and true God of the universe. And because that is reliable, he proves it by declaring the end from the beginning. He knows your life from birth to death. And in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So how much scripture is exactly inspired according to this verse? The verse says that all scripture is inspired, not just a part, not just a section, but all all is inspired by God. Now in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21 says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. You see, man did not just come to a table and begin writing with his own ideas. The Bible here clearly states that holy men of God were moved by the Holy Spirit, and God inspired the writings of the pen. Back in the day, I was going to raves during high school. I came to an after party where a 16-year-old girl ended up in convulsions. Now, because of my past growing up as a Christian, I began reading the Bible after I saw this take place. Yet, though I was still smoking marijuana, I was reading the book of Revelation and sensed a higher calling. The Bible is inspired to me, to thousands and millions of people all around the world. Question of the day, when was the last time you picked up the Word of God to have a supernatural experience with Him? I want to challenge you to get to know Jesus. Begin with the Gospels and read through His very life and what He did for you on Calvary. If you like this video, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this in the future. My name is Joseph, and by the grace of the living God, we'll talk to you 
later.